What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We got Scar. I almost said Scale. We got Scar versus Kel one on one. Uh, my prediction: Scar's defense and length is gonna give Kel some fits. Let's see if Kel can kind of lean on his experience and he can do a little bit of everything offensively. But like I said, Scar's length and one on one's all about matchups. This is gonna be kind of a tougher matchup for Kel, I do believe. If Scar can score the ball, I think he'll win. If Kel gets going offensively, he'll win. I mean, that's basically that's obvious, but <laughs> I literally just said whoever gets going offensively is gonna win. That's obvious, but you guys know what I mean. All right, two say, two tray balls to start the game. Look how long Scar's arms are. <laughs> right on time. That's crazy. He is definitely one of the best defenders in the YouTube space. Oh, that went in. Okay. Two ball to start off. Shot looked good. He looked calm, comfortable. Bump, half spin with the left. Good take. He's really good at finishing with the left like that. He'll go to that a lot, too. I've noticed his past few games, he's been going to it more often than, than not. Kel's off to a slow start. It's still very early. He's only missed two shots, but... Oh, what a move. No, no, he fell. Ah, I don't know. I don't know if he got fouled here. Good bump by Scar here. Fighting through the contact right here. That's good. That's good. But he missed his swipe. I think if the foul, I think the foul was called super late. I think it was called on the drive, if anything. But I, I thought this this part of the play was clean. Oh shit! No, no, he fell. He just fell. I think that's a valid, valid, there, valid boy? complaint yeah, from Kel. Grab, grab me a little bit. Scar going back to that left hand drive. Oh, he switched to the right. That's tough. That was like Kyrie vibes, going up with the left and then finishing with the right. Scar's been more willing to shoot that three as of late. He's he trusts it. No hesitancy. But Scar's length is giving problems. That's good footwork by Kel. The step through always gets in, bro. This is just good work by Kel. He uh, this is great defense. He boxed him up. And then, I mean, still right there. But then Kel keep working. He kept working on his pivot. And then yeah. eventually the step through. I swear those step through shots, when, when people get them in those, those ones, they go in more often than not. The exclusive invite only Frigmas hoodie is now available along with the jerseys. Those are fire. People keep asking you what you want for Christmas and you don't know. Well, now you know. Ask your mom, your dad, your wife, your girlfriend, your brother. You get the point. Step back. Good elevation on that shot. Scar's playing good defense though, man. He's playing really good defense. Kel's giving him the left there too. Oh, good finish. Yeah, Kel's forcing him left there. Scar definitely wants to... Wants to attack the rim going left. He's super comfortable with that left. He finishes with it more than more than uh, the right. But right here, he switched it over because Kel went on the outside of him. That was nice. Oh, man. That was pretty. What a spin move and jumper. That was great pace and balance. Oh, Scar's comfortable now. Oh, that's crispy. He just hit two half spins. He's too comfortable. Half spin, good defense. Half spin again. Midi, good balance and everything. So three of Frigmas with Cam versus Alex. The picks that we Woo. gave you in prize picks with Jake Browning and Trevor Lawrence hit. I'm about to they give you my hit. six picks they did for hit. tonight's NBA games. And oh my gosh! Very clutch bucket. Also, if you use code Frigo when you download and sign up, I'm gonna hook you guys up with. Frigo's trying to hit possible. big. <laughs> I got Desmond Bain going more on his points. Darius Garland going less. He scored less on that projection in the last three games. Franz Wagner going more. Paolo Bencaro going more. And Evan Mobley going more on his rebound. Watch and Darius finally, go more now. Minute, I think Scar's about to score. 
man. Matt he's shooting it well. Eight three. We just had twenty two last game. I think he's feeling hot. Download Prize Picks. Make an account. Three. Use my code. Make a deposit. Place an entry, and you are done. That's it. Let's get back to the game, and don't forget to play responsibly. Yes, play responsibly. Hezzy, good bump. Ew! Ouch and ew. Scar plays through that contact well. And then the adjustment back to the right for the inside. He's so creative. He has the deepest bag on YouTube. I think J. Lou's the shiftiest player on YouTube. I think Scar is the deepest bag. Let me know if y'all agree or disagree with both of those. Oh my God. Hopefully Kel's okay. He freaking... He ran straight. That was a nasty slip up. 9-3 though. I think Kel... One thing I'm noticing, Kel's energy is completely different from the ones he normally plays because he normally plays in really hostile environments. Frigmas is not really like that. It's more basketball. It's quieter in the gym. Uh, there's less like going at each other. It's just more basketball, I guess. And I noticed that with Scoob as well. So that's a common characteristic. Both of them play in those hostile ones and both of them are kind of not really able to get into the game um well at least up till now we'll see what kel does if he can bring it back but they both uh haven't really been able to get into it like they do their other ones not to discredit scar scar's handling business he's he's doing what he needs to do this has that has nothing to do with scar we can all be honest like i wasn't expecting to finish and kel like you know i know alex oh what's going on pause ah oh we're good we're good this game no matter what but you know, Kel. Kel's 1v1. Game. I do think so, it's a uh, tough matchup for Kel like, with Scar's length. I don't think he thinks that he's down right now. He just can't get a shot. Wow, Scar is really letting him have he's letting those. Him shoot. He's letting him shoot. He's dying by that jumper right now. He's kind of been shooting weird. Kel has to keep stay. shooting those. Travel. No! I didn't dribble or nothing out of that. What you got? Valid argument. I think it just looked like a travel. The ref's going to call that. He's sagging off so much. I like that Kel got to his midi there, but if if Scar's going to give you that much room, you got to trust the, the three. Wow, that was nice. I mean, you can't blame Kel for shooting those. Scar is playing a step. He's giving him the space to shoot. And Scar better finish this quickly because it's only a matter of time before Kel starts hitting. Right? Oh. Scar is an elite defender. I feel like you could put him up against... Not a lot of not a lot of NBA guards, and this this comment may sound crazy to you guys, but like he can guard at a really high level and do a serviceable job. I'm not saying he's gonna lock up a lower tier NBA player, but if you if you get a guard in the NBA around his size, I think he still is that talented defensively where he can do a good job on him. Got to keep shooting shoot him though. Shot. Shoot that shot. He's not a hand up. I got <laughs> Too much milf and cookies. I mean, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Scar did not even jump on that three. <laughs> you got to get your legs more into it, Scar. Nice step back. Good space on that one. That was a one, though. But that's good. That Maybe that'll wake his shot up. As a shooter, sometimes you literally just need to see one to drop and then the floodgates open. I like the shot still. You've kind of committed to shooting, so keep shooting. It's a good foul. Oh, my gosh. The footwork of that this is why scar is just disgusting this possession right here oh my gosh 
Oh, and then the drop, Hezzy. And then it, oh, he got out too. That was just perfect all around. If he, I feel like if he didn't fade, he faded a little bit. I think if he stuck his landing and just shot, I think he would have made it. I think that's why he was short. He faded a little bit, but. Scar's pressing up now a little more. Kel's going to have to attack. Good defense. Every time Scar crowds his space, he's been getting pokes on the ball. I think he should keep doing that. You don't want to let Kel get into a rhythm because Kel can shoot the ball. So I think that's Scar's best bet is to keep pressing up. If, if Kel tries to get by you, just use your length, and if he scores, he scores. That was good defense. What is going on? Don't let this man get comfortable. Uh oh, we got a game off the easy. We got a game. Up more, that's too much space. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Hands in there now. Yup. He's just working out of that triple threat. Kel has a really strong triple threat game. You could tell he was searching for it, and you can tell anytime Scar presses up, like he wasn't satisfied, so he went back to working on it. So if you watch the possession all over again. So right here, he probably could have got a shot off there, but didn't like it, didn't feel comfortable. His feet were set, so he, he goes back into it. But now Scar is in his pocket, so he can't shoot. So he goes back to the work. So he gets him. Every time he gives him that foot, Scar's dropping. So he goes back. Boom. This is where he scores. That that jab work right there where he got him, Scar recovered heavily. And then that's, that's green. That's just Kel seeing the tendency and how he's reacting. He gave him a foot. He gave him a jab here, and then he was able to predict that last one, so he knew he was going to be able to get the shot off. It's not good. It's not looking good for Scar, though. Uh-oh. Scar, you let him hang around too long. He's going now. Kel can win with the two here. Scar has to press up in his pocket. He cannot allow him. Yeah, the defensive strategy has to change. Oh my gosh. Good D. Got him dead. No way. Kel should be able to get that shot off with Scar's length. He had him dead to right. There's no way. I think Kel just kind of lulled him to sleep there. Like, I understand if you get beat by a step through, but for him to kind of shimmy you like that. I think he just kind of got lulled to sleep. Scar is way too good defensively to even allow that shot to get up to have a chance. It happens. He got lulled to sleep. Come on, Scar, get a stop. He's really up now. This, this is. Don't foul, don't foul. Ooh. This is going to get interesting because that possession right there just let me know how the ref is going to let this last few points play out. Because that would have been a foul early in the game. So the ref wants them to let him play it out. With the left. Oh, that's big. Hopefully the ankle's okay. A two can win it. He wants to attack. Good patience. Wow. Wow. I would be shocked if Scar does anything besides what he just la did the last two possessions. He's got to attack. It is, it is kind of interesting. I think the refs... All right, so at this point in the game, I think the ref is just letting them play through the bumps because right there was a foul too. Kel got fouled too a few possessions ago. So they're letting him play through the bumps, but he's going to call He's gonna call anything uh, shooting-wise. I cannot see Scar taking a jumper here. I think he's attacking. 
How did he keep his balance? Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Scar had to stop there. He just jabbed them after the shot is already gone. That's a great call. You had to stop there. I did not think you were going to call that. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. Is this going to roll in? Nope. That's crazy, though. Two possessions in a row. He might be on the elbow there, but it's close to the ball just being gone. It is a foul, 100%, though. You just... Dang, if... That's tough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, bro, that's yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, that's a free yes, throw. <laughs> yes, I do. I want it. I want it. <laughs> I want it. I want it. Kel is saying he wants it. Something about Kel, if you guys remember when he played Scoob the second time, when he beat Scoob and the ball's life king of the court, there was some controversy at the end there. The ref threw the ball when Scoob wasn't really ready. Kel caught it. He's like, it's in play, and he shot and won. You have to respect Kel's mentality because he's willing to do whatever to win, and he doesn't really care about what anybody thinks or says about it. At the end of the day, the goal is to win. That's what he's focused on. This is crazy if this game ends off a free throw, though, which it probably will. That is the rules, though. It's two fouls and you shoot a free throw, so you can't really get mad at him for just taking the free throw. This is for game. No, that was. Oh my gosh. That he did not just miss that. The basketball guy said, "Uh uh." All right, now Scar's in the bonus. Next foul, he shoots a free throw. Oof. Wow. Was this travel? No, I don't think it was. Present is. Great. Gotta hit the free throw, you feel me? Oh, he whacked him. Yo, shout out to Scar, feel me? That's my rematch. What's the present? What's the present? We bet. Whoever wins, the other one gotta open the gift as well. So you got the TV too? TV. You got the surround sound, the new TV, and 200 cash. Surround sound yeah, TV and 200 you, cash. Got, GG's, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, appreciate you guys. Drop a like on the video if you support the channel. I hope y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.